。中国经济上半年的表现也得到了国际机构的关注。世界银行中国局局长表示，上半年中国在减税、供给侧结构性改革等举措颇有成效，面对复杂的国际形势，依然保持稳定增长。In line with our expectations, is what I would say uh, about the first half performance and also the performance in the second quarter. We've seen initial signs of a stabilization to some of the high-frequency indicators, particularly industrial production, but also consumption. Retail sales are up. Chinese economy should rebalance, and that rebalancing is reflected in the data with a strong role for domestic demand. Uh, and we've seen that confirmed in the second quarter. 法国巴黎银行中国首席经济学家陈兴栋认为。上半年中国经济取得百分之六点三的增长，表明中国经济的韧性较强。信息服务、租赁商业服务以及金融业服务等与生活相关的服务业发展迅速，并将更快、更好地发挥出对经济增长的贡献。此外，中国在进一步加大对外开放方面所取得的进展值得关注。其实第二阶段的这种开放呢，就是一个叫做国民待遇，对吧？进入前的国民待遇，进入后的国民待遇，就是很多的企业呢，到这中国来以后说呢，要利用中国的市场在增长，对吧？然后推动中国经济走向新一轮的以创新为主的高质量的这个增长。